outdoors since I noticed my new bug net. I never used to like believe in these or want one of these, but I bought one on a lark. And boy am I glad because there's a cloud of them around me. Dad Squatch is over there uh, exclaiming <laughs> about how much he doesn't like them, the bugs. So I'm pretty glad with my uh, decision to purchase this because it, it's extremely buggy here. I'd be leaving right now if I didn't have this thing on. I did find this. This looks like the remains of some kind of bird. I don't know what. That might be the most recognizable part of it. Can't find any of the rest of them. So I don't know. I don't really know my birds. So some more of it over there. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're looking for morels today, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna find any, frankly. So this isn't really the area we typically find them in. But I uh, haven't been in here this time of year, so maybe uh, it will surprise me. Morel. All right, I thought this was gonna be a bogus morel spot, but look at that, boys. Right on the side of the darn road. All right, well, we were gonna leave because the bugs, but now we're gonna look over there for a bit for more. All right, take care. This is what he gives me. Make your thing here. Make room for the real mushrooms. Now, all mushrooms are uh, important to the world. Kind of a gray color. Huh? All right, now that I saw those there, I'm going to assume I missed a bunch somewhere else. All right, we're going to look in there now. No more rails, no problems. There go. There's another one. Right there. Jesus Christ, the water made it. Three that I just saw. There might be even more if we look around and look real careful. scope around this area a little bit longer. Not a morel. A false morel in fact. Here. There. I think I went over the difference in the last video but uh or one of the last videos but um the uh, false morel sample I had was a little old. This guy is fresh. We're gonna work our way back to the uh, vehicle. Dad Squatch is back on the road. He's being eaten alive by bugs. Uh, but me, I got my fancy hat here, so I'm invincible. <clears throat> so uh, the way Dad Squatch and I communicate in the woods when we can't see each other is we whistle. And I, there's these birds out now that uh, sound just like that. So I have no idea if I've been talking to a bird for the past uh, five minutes or if I've been signaling to my father. I'm not sure. I think we might have confused another bird. I don't know. Anyway, I think I know the road's over there. Uh, I parked somewhere off of it. But as you can see, I want to check out in here for more morels because it just looks like the kind of place that might host them. Thought I'd let you all know that the birds are uh, the birds are messing up our communication. I forgot uh, the elevation changes quite a bit, so I'm gonna try to go down there to the road without falling and breaking my ass. So let's see how that goes. Wow, I'm landing over there. Uh-oh, I hear my truck. Not too far away.
All right, we made it. I got new shoes, by the way. Got them earlier today. I'm pretty glad I did because I'm pretty sure if I hadn't, I'd have slid down that hill on my head. So, good for me. I'm not in a clean it up mood today. All right. Oh wow, I'm where I parked. I think I parked under that awful hill. I think I parked over here. Yeah, now we're looking at the side of the road for mushrooms. That's what I found. All right, look what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I'm guessing eight. It's hard to count when they're clumped up like that. But not the biggest haul, but you know what? When you were expecting to get nothing, eight's pretty good. All right, I remember these things. See if Dad Squatch made it back or if he was carried off by mosquitoes. Oh, he's alive, standing. I lose them up here, I'll never hear the end of it. We complained that forever. Did you find any? No. He's taking pictures. I'm gonna take pictures of him. I'm gonna film him filming me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't look <laughs> as ridiculous as you. <laughs> yeah, well, how many pints of blood are you missing from those? Uh, uh, I'm gonna need a blood transfer. <laughs> blood transfusion. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. That's just that arm. Oh, we got morels out of it anyway. You want to head down by the hill where I said? Oh, I'm going to call it it. You're going to call it it. Get off my leg and get my friggin' bug bites taken care of. <laughs> All, right. All right, we're going to drive back down that awful hill and then I might go do a little bit of morel hunting. All right, we made it down the hill. I got dead squats dropped off. We're going to go down this way. To some spots where I've seen morels in the past. We're gonna see if they're there today. What do we got here? Trail closed. Logging. All right. So stay away from the trail closed. Dead end signs we've seen better days. All right. I'm in the. Uh, Second place, I'd hope to maybe find some morels. I haven't found any yet, though. And I might not. Not guaranteed at all. But uh, I haven't even explored a quarter of it yet, so. Could still happen. The uh, things have changed down here, so I gotta be a little conscientious of where I walk where I am but I don't anticipate any big problems so. uh, ah, okay we found one that's cool I thought I was gonna get skunk in here obviously I did okay uh, this does mean I have to really go through here and look because look how uh look how hard they are to see Well, that one's almost gone by. Oh, yeah, well, I think I'm going to leave that one. See if there are any more around here. So, take a note of what the trees look like and keep that in mind. And maybe we'll find some more. Good enough. I'm going to call that the video. Like and subscribe.